Hey everyone, my name is Elizabeth and I am a podcaster and I've recently decided that I'm now a YouTuber. So I'm starting this series that's going to be called I Try Bougie Gem So You Don't Have To. And I'm really excited for you guys to get to follow along with me. I'll be rating them on specific criteria, specifically on ambiance, so lighting and um, music, playlist, all the things, teacher, all that good stuff. And then workout content, so um, is the teacher explaining things well? Are they giving you progressions and like ways to either make it easier or make it harder? Um, do I feel like I got a good workout and actually like sweat during the workout and then also after the workout like what's my takeaway once I actually get home and I'm not like in the setting how am I actually feeling about like the physical workout that I did um, staff is next so not just the instructor but also like front desk staff in most of these classes that I'm gonna be taking are classes that I am not a member at so like are they nice like do they explain things well do they show me around the studio do they give me a lot of information um, and just kind of like that kind of all encompasses like anybody who I encounter. Um, I also honestly kind of, well, I guess more ambiance would be, um, you know, the people that are actually there because I do think that says a lot about a gym if people who are members there are kind and fun to be around and accepting and um, willing to help and encouraging. So I think that that would be more ambiance, but I, that just kind of reminded me of that pricing so like with the actual price of membership or single classes or class packages costs and then um amenities so like do they have a shower do they have um you know other resources that you can use do they have a snack bar do they have energy drinks available all that good stuff i hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it today i am going to be going through my favorite and least favorite things about hotworks so let's get started The people that work there are also like super friendly. They're really sweet. They always say hey to me whenever I walk in and they are really good at like learning your name, which is really sweet. So that's cool. And then I also have noticed that they do a bunch of different membership deals. So I'm on the, um, there's like a special if you're like a first responder, frontline worker of sorts, you get a discounted membership. And so I'm still on that one. But they do, I don't think they do student discounts, which makes sense because ours isn't a college town, but that might just be by franchise. So they always do good membership discounts too, which is good to know. They have lots of different formats, which is really nice. So they've got like cycle, row, um, ISO, warrior, which is like yoga, Pilates, lots of different stuff, but they're all really good workouts. So they actually do like a game show with their virtual instructors to determine who, like whoever wins gets to be a virtual instructor, which is really cool. And I had one of them on my podcast a few weeks back. So you guys can check out my interview with her too. Um, and she got, she kind of talked a little bit about, you know, what it was like to film the reality TV show and all the things that they had to do and what that process was like, which is cool to know about the behind the scenes behind that. And then I think they refresh the videos every, like maybe three months. That could be wrong though, maybe every month. And they film them all at the same time. One thing to note is that if you are decide that you don't want to use Hotworks anymore as your gym and you want to cancel your membership, you have to pay three months past when you decide to cancel, which is annoying. So um, just something to keep in mind. I had a friend that did that and she didn't know because obviously they don't advertise that. So that is something to know that is not fun.
Okay, so overall thoughts on Hotworks. I love their amenities. They have a shower, which is like in a like single stall bathroom, which is really nice because it means you can lock the door and you've got like the whole room to yourself, which is unlike other places that are just like stall showers. So I really like that. Um, I also love that it's open 24 seven. That's one of my favorite things about it. And one of the reasons why I did get a membership for it. Um, something that I don't currently have. I don't have the, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's basically where your code for like the keypad to get in for 24 hours when there's not staff there, um, works at any Hotworks location. So right now, mine just works at the one in Oxford, which is the only one I use, so that's fine, but it would be nice like on vacations to have the, I think it's like Sweat Anywhere is what they call it, so that I could use that on vacations, but, um, it is an option. Um, another thing that I don't love is that they do make you buy a towel and a mat when you get the membership, which is like an extra, I think it's like 70 bucks or something like that, which is not like horrible, but it is like an investment aside from just the membership. Like you have to buy like other things too. So it's not just like a flat rate, it's like the rate, but then also like add-ons even though they aren't add-ons because you have to you have to get them. Um, they also have a little like mini gym. So they've got like um, a full set of dumbbells, a cable machine, um, I, I've inserted clips, but like a pull-up bar, um, a bench, for, like basic bare bones gym stuff if you wanna do that after. So sometimes I'll go do my sauna workout and then afterwards I'll go do like arms for a second or something um and sometimes I also use it to like mark through my dances because there is a big like open space which is really nice um they've got lockers and they also have a vending machine that has airpods in it like not actual airpods but like headphones of some sort they also have like lemon towels in there um celsius granola bars stuff like that so that's really cool too they're all like really expensive though um and then there's also just cubbies throughout, which I normally just use a cubby and it looks like most people do the same thing. They just stick their stuff in a cubby, even though it's not locked. But the space is so small that it doesn't really matter, which is kind of nice. Um, when you go into the sauna, you can adjust temperature. You can turn the lights on or off. Um, one thing that was kind of confusing to me when I first started was how to adjust the sauna. So I would definitely, if you're new, go when there's somebody working so that if you need help, they can help you. Um, another thing that we realized last time was you can hear people talking in connected saunas sometimes, which is a little odd. But um, also I'm walking right now, which is why I'm like breathing hard. But, um, <laughs> but you can hear people sometimes, which is kind of off-putting, but you can also turn up the volume. Um, sometimes it's too loud though and like, you can hear the next person over's video, which is annoying. Um, they also have an app, which I'll include a video of too, but that's really useful because it shows you how many people are booked to a sauna. You can have three total and what slots are available. Like you can search by the format of workout. So you can search by Pilates or you can search by like, I'm gonna go at 915 and see what's available then. So that's really cool too. They also have a tire, so like workout gear that is available for sale in the front section of the store, but you can only purchase it when there's somebody there, which makes sense. Um, you also can't bring any guests, but from what I can tell, you can bring in people like low key with you when there's nobody working without getting caught. That's what I've heard from a few friends. So. That's good to know too. I went ahead and purchased another towel also, just in case I ever wanted to bring a friend, I can just give it to them and they'll have something to work out on so that they're not just on like the wood, cause that's kind of gross. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me chatting about my experience at Hotworks and I will see you on the next one.